Thank you for joining us for the KHSC Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm Erin Briscoe-Clark. Arvin High students share their talents with their peers to spread the spirit of the season. One, two, Abigail Rosenthal's Advanced Chamber Choir practiced vocal warm-ups for a special performance on Monday. The students are sprinkling a little holiday cheer with their voices and caroling around campus. A few festive favorites, Feliz Navidad, Joy to the World, and Silent Night. It's good to be back in person and to seeing in classrooms and in the office and everywhere. Ms. Rosenthal is a first-year choir teacher. She says any performance during COVID is a blessing, and in the short time she has spent with her students, she has seen a positive change. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm so proud. I mean, undeniably, like, they've grown tenfold since I've been here, and they've been so, like, supportive of each other. They, their attitude is just the best. It's a family. Like, we have that, that motto, everything we do, we do together. We really take it to heart. We, we help each other, both in music and stuff outside of music. It it's truly is a family, and we help each other throughout everything. Throughout the week, students visited over 20 classrooms with the hope of making the holiday a bit brighter. Tis the season for giving back. Bakersfield High students spent the morning with Santa and helped serve up breakfast to the community at the Stockdale Moose Lodge last weekend. Longtime KHSD substitute teacher Margaret Pride helped organize the event with her students. Not only did the students lend a hand with breakfast duties, but there was also face painting and games. Students are learning the power of storytelling and the impact it has on our communities. KHSD has partnered with Cal State University Bakersfield to facilitate the National Geographic Society Student Storytelling Fellowship focused on environmental justice. 30 students were selected from school sites across the district and will come together for eight meetings throughout the year. This week they met and learned more about how to tell a story through photography and video. What I hope to walk away with this course is a, a better understanding of environmental justice as a whole and how I can, can express my ideas about environmental justice through like a photographic or visual perspective. Um, so I can help like spread the message really and like convey a stronger sense of communication about environmental ideas. Over the next few months, students will also complete three curated National Geographic Gen Geo Storytelling Impact courses, engage with local experts, contribute to citizen science research, co-develop an environmental justice education experience for educators, and more. The end goal is to empower students to use their voice to address issues and take action for our planet for a better future. Students in the Digital Marketing and Media Design program, along with the Mobile App Development program at SeaTech, shook hands and showcased their work Tuesday night. Family, staff, and industry partners were invited to the networking event and silent auction to see firsthand the work students are producing while learning more about the career opportunities provided at SeaTech. At our digital marketing station, we have live graphic design happening right now with examples on the table of what uh, students have worked on. And then at the uh, mobile app side, they're showing uh, two apps that they've made. One is a tic-tac-toe game, and then the other one's a hangman game. And so they're showing the code that goes into it and then how actually it functions and performs. 
Senior Kayla Bailey says he's grateful for all the possibilities the program has provided. To see where we came from, from not knowing anything about coding, to be able to build it up, to show them that we can make apps and stuff is just really rewarding to see. During the evening, attendees were also able to bid on donated items with all the proceeds going to the program's Creators Club, which is raising funds for an educational field trip in the spring. Three seniors are celebrating the perfect match. They're receiving full scholarships through the Quest Bridge National College Match Program. Congratulations, Diego Rubio Garcia, a senior at Arvin High School for being matched with Princeton University, where he'll focus on mathematics. The acceptance rate at the Ivy League University is 5.6%. Way to go, Diego. Also from Arvin High School, congratulations go out to Adair Sanchez. Adair received a full scholarship to Boston College and the Morrissey College of Arts and Science. He will focus on music. The school says out of nearly 900 applicants, only 75 were selected through the match. Quite the accomplishment. And congrats are in store for Isaac Calderon, a senior at Highland High School. Isaac will be attending Brown University to study computer science. The acceptance rate at the private Ivy League Research University is just over 7%. What an exceptional achievement. Out of more than 16,000 applications, Questbridge matched around 1,600 students to one of their 45 college partners. College match scholarship recipients receive a full four-year scholarship worth over $200,000 each. We wish Diego, Adair, and Isaac the best of luck in their future endeavors. Kudos to Tierra Del Sol OCI teacher and activities coordinator Loretta Eldridge. Eldridge was recently recognized at the National Association of Student Leadership Directors Conference and named the Dr. Earl Ream Award National Finalist representing the Western Region. The award recognizes outstanding contributions in the training and mentoring of student activity advisors. Earlier this year, Eldridge was also honored as the California Association of Directors of Activities State Conference winner. Her colleague Julie Gibson says Eldridge is a true teacher of teachers and is so worthy of this honor. Congrats. And finally, KHSD employees rolled up their sleeves to help save lives in Kern County. Houchin Community Blood Bank returned to the district office for its first mobile drive since 2019. Houchin collected 23 units of blood from donors, which will help save 69 lives in our community. Thank you to all who donated. Thank you for watching the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. From the entire Public Information Office team, we wish you happy holidays and a wonderful and relaxing break. To see more videos, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information YouTube page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. <music>